Hey guys, welcome back to my channel video. We're gonna be doing another book shopping and bookstore, book haul, all of that. I got some Starbucks. But yeah, it's gonna be a very fun vlog. I am excited to share today with you guys and we'll head out. But before, I might as well just show you guys my outfit. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Karen and I do a lot of books, fashion, and lifestyle content. If any of that is of interest to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And we did hit 500 subscribers. Even YouTube sent me the email congratulating me, which is really exciting. So, very happy to be filming today. Look for today. I'm looking a little bit fancier because I had to take some pictures for Instagram. If you want to check those out, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I have a link down below. But I'm wearing this like see-through mesh top and I'm wearing like a bralette underneath mom jeans and this really cute platform sandals super cute fit so let's go book shopping next day shocker right and i have some books to show you guys so i went to starbucks this morning and i think i said this in the other video that i'm filming today but for the oat milk so it has real milk and that has the potential to ruin my day but we're not gonna let it i'm going all natural with you guys and not wearing makeup because i think i'm gonna go lay in the pool for a little bit after I filmed this and I'm vlogging my day today so you can go check that out so let's show you some books that I ended up picking out I have a total of four books to show you guys and a few of them are not I didn't get them at Barnes & Nobles I bought them on Amazon so I only got two Barnes & Nobles yesterday the selection was okay I got one book that kind of shocked me I wasn't really expecting to do that this month but so I have this goal where I want to read at least one classic a month and that is a very ambitious goal because classic books are really wordy and have all that scriptural language that I personally hate so this is what I ended up getting Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen why did I have to look at the author? I knew that this was by Jane Austen my brand is fried, you guys, I swear. So, this is the first book that I got. It is beautiful. It literally looks like a Bible. You know how Bibles have like the little marker thing? It's pretty, so, so pretty. I want to have a classic section one day when I have like an actual library in my house. So, this is book number one. I already started reading it. I'm like in page 10. 11 i'm telling you this is gonna go by super slow and it's 300 and something pages but the letters are kind of small so this is the first book that i got filming in this like new corner because i kind of like the lighting i like the white background my book wall is a mess right now i'm gonna be organizing that in the vlog for today so that's why we're sitting here in this corner and if you hear noise it's because my bathroom is like right behind you guys um there's nobody there it's just i have the fan on do like Block the noise of like dogs and stuff like that from outside. Another book that I got uh Barnes and Noble was Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welsh. I saw Haley Fam reading this and Alexa Ray. She's one of my friends from YouTube. To clarify, I'm not friends with Haley Fam. I don't know her. I haven't had the pleasure to of meeting her yet. Um I have known Alexa for a little while through social media, but she read this book and she really liked it um everyone says they're kind of shocked that it's not like super cheesy so i'm kind of excited to read this one yeah love and gelato it sounds really cheesy but give you guys a description i mean i didn't really think i had to read you guys the description of pride and prejudice this is like a really popular book but i'll read you guys this description so it says 
Lena is spending the summer in Tuscany, but she isn't in the mood for Italy's famous sunshine and fairy tale landscape. She's only there because it was her mother's dying wish that she gets to know her father. But what kind of father isn't around for 16 years? All Lena know, wants to do is go back home. But then she's given a journal that her mom had kept when she lived in Italy. Suddenly, Lena's uncovering a magical world of secret romances, art, and hidden bakeries. That sounds right up my alley. A world that inspires her along with the ever so changing Ren to following her mother's footsteps and unearth a secret that has been kept for far too long. It's a secret that will change everything Lena knew about her mother, her father, and even herself. People come to Italy for love and gelato. Oh, that's the title right there. Someone tells her, but sometimes they discover much more. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of plot twists in this book, and I think I think Haley Fam or was that Alexa? Somebody said that the talk with the plot twist in this book, so a mystery. Somebody said that, and I can't remember who. But anyways, that's the second one, and I finally, finally got my hands on November 9 by Colleen Hoover. This book has seen my TBR for so freaking long. I, I guess you can tell already started reading it uh, because I got it way before I got the Fortune Noble books, but I haven't actually shown you this book yet. I will be kind of reading this in my vlog that I'm filming currently. I don't know if I want to do a full reading vlog for it. I'm going to read a description in case you guys haven't read this book. Honestly, I feel like everybody's like ahead of me with this and everyone has actually read November Night by Colleen Hoover. But this is a description. Fallon meets Ben, an aspiring novelist, the day before her scheduled cross-country move. Her ultimately untimely attraction leads them to spend Fallon's last day in LA together and her Ben Follet becomes a secretive inspiration Ben has always sought for his novel. Over time, and amidst the various relationships and tribulations of their own separate lives, they continue to meet on the same date every year until one day Fallon becomes unsure if Ben has been telling her the truth or fabricating a perfect reality for the sake of the ultimate plot twist. Can Ben's relationship with Fallon and simultaneously his novel be considered a love story if it ends in heartbreak? So we know Colin Cooper, we know how dramatic her books are, nothing wrong with that, but I'm currently reading this. Gonna go ahead and say so far, not a huge fan of the characters. Don't call at me. I like all glove. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one as much. So the very last book that I got for this video, and honestly guys, I don't know what happened to this book. Like, I haven't even started reading it. But I think I might spill something on it. It was by my bedside table. Um, and I sometimes have drinks and stuff there. So maybe I spill something or the dog spills something. But that happened. And I don't know when it happened. So this is book number two of a good girl's guide to murder series is good girl bad blood i am obsessed with this cover it is so pretty i love the whole headphone situation this is by holly jackson oops this is by holly jackson i like the series a lot i gave the first book a four out of five so i'll read you guys the description of the second one pip is not a detective anymore with the help of rabbi rabbi saying she released a true crime podcast about the murder case they solved together last year through the podcast went viral, though the podcast went viral, Pip insists that her sleuthing days are behind her. When, when, but when someone she knows goes missing and the police won't do anything, Pip has no choice but to investigate. After all, Jamie Reynolds disappeared on the very same night the town hosted a memorial for the six year anniversary of the death of Andy Bell Saul saying, It has to be more than a coincidence. Who's Jamie Reynolds? I don't remember that character. Okay. Pip follows a trail of clues, uncovering more of her town secrets along the way, and this time everyone is listening. Will she and Jamie be forced to leave? Why don't I remember that character? Anyways, the last book I got, so I have a total of four books. I think this is like one of the biggest book hauls I've done in a while. Like, I usually never have this many books to show you guys. I can't blow a lot of money on buying books for you guys unless you guys subscribe and I start making more money of this channel. Just super thought. I have something else to show you guys and I don't want to get annoying with it but you know I work with Ava Drake almost every month I look so white in this lighting I work with Ava Drake almost every month and I have a few glasses to show you This time I have two pairs of sunglasses and one pair of glasses that has become my absolute favorite pair of glasses of eyeglasses By the way, this pair is also from Ava Drake it's one of my favorites. Yes, it matches my sweatshirt. I'm not gonna make any comments on that because I have issues. <laughs> but let me show you guys these sunglasses that I got. 
Okay, so as usual, they come in this little cute box. This is not sponsored by the way. They just send these to me because they're ambassador. And I get some frames every month. And I post some content about them on Instagram very often. So go follow me on Instagram if you want to see some of that. And TikTok. So they come in this box. If you get, they are... There's a specific collection, or I think guys are over $70. You can get this case for free. It's like a leather case, and it's super cute. And like I said, I don't pay for this glasses. I just thought I'll let you know, guys. So, And there is this black pair. They're a little dirty because I already wore them. This is the Aura frame, and I wear this pair a little bit too much. So the Aura frame might be like one of my top three I've had right glasses of all time. This is what they look like on. You might have seen them already in the video and in other videos I've posted. But these are so cute. I'm not wearing any makeup. So, sorry about that. They're just like black. And this is the Aura frame. I'll be linking them down below so you guys can shop. And then I have two more pairs. Sunglasses. I'm obsessed with the vintage style sunglasses. These are kind of like a reddish color. And they have like a tortoise print on the side. These are the vacation frame half fitting. Even though I won't be taking a vacation anytime soon. This pair might be my favorite. How cool are these? These are the Mila frames and also like a tortoise frame situation. I feel immediately cooler with these on. Like, come on. I think I'm gonna go lay on the pool after this video for my vlog. I'm not doing that for my vlog, but that's gonna be probably on the vlog. And I'm gonna be in these because they're so freaking cool. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you like this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of fun videos coming your way. I have pre filmed so many videos and I just have them and upload them. We are over 500 subscribers, I'm so excited because that means we're going to be getting 1k sometime soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video, don't forget to subscribe.